I'm going to make the bull wheel over here, uh, 12 millimeters uh, steel plate. I need to have a diameter of uh, 185, so this will go. Just have to clean this up first. It was a jig to hold something. Uh, I don't remember what. Okay. So, I've cut off the corners, made a disc. Uh, now, I'm going to drill a hole, perhaps 8 millimeters. And I will, oh, not this one, but something to add a flange on it. Uh, I will drill a hole in that too and will weld it around. Then I can hold this in the lathe and can square it off. Uh, I can round it off. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, I've made. Um, the flange from a piece of steel, drill the hole 8 millimeters. I clean this up, also drill the hole 8 millimeters. Uh, here I tapped, uh, drilled and tapped uh, for an 8 millimeter uh, bolt. Uh, I did it now because when it's on here, it's very difficult uh, to drill and tap here. Uh, now I will bolt this all together and I will weld this flange to uh, the disc. So I've welded uh, the flange on the disc. Uh, I turned the edge of the disc and I flattened uh, the front. So, uh, now I have to cut all the, the teeth, 72 of them. <sighs> it will be a lot of work. Yeah, uh, this is my setup. Uh, for cutting the grooves. Uh, I can only uh, cut not too deep because uh, my lathe uh, or my mill isn't uh, strong enough to cut direct directly the whole teeth. Uh, so it's a simple indexer. Uh, 72 teeth, that's uh, uh, every 5 degrees. Uh.
And I finished cutting the teeth. Took me a while, <laughs> but the pinion runs very smooth. Okay, uh, this is the cutter I used. The arbor I made myself, it's a uh, morse cone, morse cone tree, uh, and it has threaded uh, for a drawbar. So now I need to make, I don't know how it's called, but something like this. All right, let's continue. Yes, uh, I've already placed one uh, guide to the bull wheel. Uh, I have welded um, the two plates together. Now I'm using some gauge blocks to make it perpendicular so now I'll, I will drill one hole bolt it down uh, drill one hole tap it bolt it down uh, drill the next hole tap it bolt it down and then I will uh, put the two center holes in it uh, I didn't uh, drill uh, the bolts, uh, no, didn't do it like uh, in the book. Uh, he speaks of uh, putting uh, the bolts on the other side, but since my flange is too big, I can't uh, put bolts here. So I will uh, add some cap bolts, we'll do it like this. And I will, I will put uh, three in each. So, okay, I've done the next castings. The big <laughs> uh, disc for the the axle and two blocks. For uh, the yoke, so I will cut the sprues off, and then I can clean them up, drill a hole. Uh, I made a change. Uh, oh, I will do it a little bit different uh, from the book. I will put in two uh, ball bearings here. Uh, I don't have uh, I don't have uh, any uh, brass uh, bushings uh, and I don't want to make them so I added some uh, aluminium here uh, so it will be a little bit more solid okay I've machined the disc, uh, the two ball bearings, so now we're going to fit it on the, on the shaper and then we'll paint it. I've installed uh, the disc and made the axle, installed the uh, ball bearings and inside uh, runs nice. Now I'm gonna make the yoke. Uh, 
we'll see. Okay. Okay, all the pieces for the yoke and the bull wheel are ready. The bull wheel you've seen. Uh, I already painted it. This is the disc and the axle goes in here. Okay. Uh, this goes in here. Will be locked with this bolt. That's the axle. Then I've made uh, some kind of T nut. This slides in here. The other way. So uh, there comes some kind of washer. This is a sliding block and it's bolt goes on here so you can lock it and slide it wherever you want okay that is done the yoke is done with the bronze bushings uh, the sliding block fits snug in here uh, I drilled a little hole for oiling. Uh, these are the two bosses uh, for the oak. So this comes in here. So and so. And that can move. So now. Now we need to paint this, uh, this, and this, and then I can uh, assemble it on the shaper. I've uh, painted everything, I've installed everything. Inside, <laughs> I will turn it a little bit. And I have enough clearance. I measured the stroke uh, 20 centimeters. That's about uh, 8 inch stroke. I think that's enough. So, next thing, I will connect the ram to this pivot uh, and make uh, the gliders here. So, looks nice, I'm very glad. <laughs> 